So, I found myself a month into my trip, completely lost on what I want to do and where I want to go. So this video really covers me living really day to day and then by the end I finally work out a long term plan. My friend gave your microphone. Plushin. Plushie. Plushie. Pushy. It's just a plushie, right? Oh, it's, isn't that that kind of cute cat? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it kind of looks like it. Sat Saturday morning? Saturday morning. I'm really fucking tired. But I'm walking to the train station. We're going to Ljubljana via like two places. So it's going to be a long day. But last night was fun at least. And my fucking heel and ankle hurts a lot. I fucked it. It's not good. Oh. <sighs> That's my mood right now, it's a big fat sigh. Sigh of exhaustion, I should say. Absolutely fucking lovely day right now. Blue skies, so warm. Especially after pissing it down the other day. Bye. Bye. It was nice having you here. It was um, so nice. Safe travels. We just had a big old McDonald's for my breakfast, lunch and probably dinner as well. That was the best McDonald's I've had on this trip so far. A bit of curly fries, I haven't had curly fries in ages. So good. I have an hour in Munich to waste before I get a train over to Villac. Whatever the fuck that is. It's not the end destination. Just got to Villac. There is a train I could get in 10 minutes that takes me to Ljubljana. Or there's a train in two hours. Let's see if we can get in this one in 10 minutes. I have no clue how to navigate this place. Mm -hmm. And it's really busy. <laughs> Where are the instructions? This is real life. This is no performance here. Cool, I'm cool. <laughs> I finally finished my travels for the day. I managed to get on the early train, it's only half six. England game's on, so hopefully I can check in and watch the second half of the England game. Woo, it's hot though. It's getting very hot again. Just checked into the hostel. There's like 30 minutes left of the England game. I see there's some pubs down the road. Let's go see if I can watch the game in a pub. <laughs> I'm quite lucky because if you remember Eva from Seville, it's given me loads of recommendations of where to go. So I tried out her ice cream place, gonna try out some Burak place, don't know what Burak is. I was out till like 4am last night, so I don't know if I'm up for anything big tonight. I think I'm just gonna get some food and go home and rest because I'm so sleepy right now. Well that's what I'm saying right now, but you'll see what happens next. Because normally if I see alcohol, I can fucking do anything. <laughs> Got the pizza Burak. Damn, that pizza burrack was fucking delicious and three euros fifty as well. What a fucking steal. Now, I'm just gonna head back to the hostel. But I'm gonna rest. Definitely gonna rest. Definitely not gonna go to the bar. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh fuck me. Yeah. I can feel that pain inside me right now. I can't even go inside. Why is this inside the hostel? Sunday morning, Ljubljana. Pretty hot here. Pretty hot. And my foot is still hurting quite a bit, which is not good, but we power through. Yeah, last night, just went to the bar downstairs with people from my room. Yeah, nice chilled night. Went to sleep by 2 a.m. Now, hopefully we'll have a chilled day. Gonna go sit in the park, but I've just found out there's no fucking supermarkets open, which is fucking annoying. Nice relaxing afternoon. Did a bit of a walk, a bit of a hike up a hill, had some goulash. Now, to go into the town, probably just relax still, get some more editing done. Nice relaxing day by myself. <laughs> Seven PM. Been out all day, walking, seeing the city. Feeling pretty exhausted right now. Finally, just got back to the hostel. Think it might be another chilled night. Maybe 
Monday morning, finally finished the skydiving vlog so I can upload that today. And everyone's just moved out of my room. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do today. I was thinking of going to Lake Bled, but kind of just can't be asked to be honest. I'm gonna find a cafe, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna eat some food. Don't know, I have no clue what I want to do. I keep thinking about going for a run as well, but my foot is absolutely fucked. So far I have the streak of running in every place I've stayed. I don't think my body wants me to keep that streak, but I really, want to run. Oh, my foot needs a rest at least. God. The artwork in this hostel is fucking weird. Now, try some like, strictly, strictly. I don't know. It's some like, Slovenian dumpling thing. Do you do like reviews of cities? No, I just kind of vlog my travels. Just for yourself? Yeah, right, yeah. Cool. I had some amazing tasting dumplings. They were so nice. And I was gonna go get some ice cream, but all this food has caught up with me and I have to make an emergency pit stop. So I'm gonna get the shits right now. <laughs> so going back to the hostel to uh, unload, freshen up, and I'll be back out later maybe. I had a lovely evening, just editing. It's not 9 p.m. I still don't know where I'm even going tomorrow. So I decided I'm gonna go find a pub, have a Guinness, and decide what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So I could go to like rural countryside of like the Balkans, or I could just go up to Poland, or I could go across to like Bosnia or something. I don't know. I just don't know what I want to do. I'm really indecisive right now. A Guinness will help me. Guinness round two and I still have a fucking clue what I'm doing tomorrow. Oh, third Guinness now. I still have no clue what I'm gonna do tomorrow. It's costing me a long Guinness right now. And I might need to wake up early tomorrow, depending on what I do. Oh, it's dark. Three Guinnesses in. Still haven't come up with a foot plan. I think I might have an idea that might be quite intense, but could be a lot of fun. And I get to see a lot of places, so I think I'm probably gonna do that one. I just don't know. Fuck. Still not decided what the fuck I'm doing tomorrow. But I have decided for the third night in a row I'm gonna get some burek. Fuck! What the fuck am I doing tomorrow? I don't know. I don't even know what time I should wake up. All right, I'm gonna shower and then I'll do the shower thoughts. Burek acquired. Oh, it's Tuesday, 6:35 a.m. I'm on about two hours of sleep. I never really properly decide what I'm doing today, but I have decided I'm getting trains north. I have nothing booked. I don't even know where I'm going to sleep tonight. <laughs> but at least last night, I came back to the hostel and had a lovely chat with some American and British guy till about 4 a.m. <laughs> so the plan now is to get this early morning train that goes starts going north. In theory, I might be able to get some Warsaw today. We'll see how that goes in practice. But for now, I just want, kind of want to get on trains and start going north. I am so tired. Maybe tired isn't even the word. I'm just asleep still. I have exactly two minutes to do this transfer. I'm in a fucking rush. Got off the train in Vienna. Got a whole 15 minutes now to get on the train to Warsaw. Feels like fucking ages after the two minutes I had in Filak before. I uh, think I'm not eating at all today on this 15 hour train ride day, but we're going north. And I think my train is literally on the same platform I just got off from. DE. Where's DE? Oh, all the way down there. I see my train. Cool. Let's go to Warsaw. I'm on two hours sleep and all I'm doing is drinking water. I'm gonna be messed up tomorrow. Oh, finally into Poland on this eight hour train ride. I'm so tired and it's so hot in here. I'm so sweaty. 15 hour train journey day. Not the best of ideas, I'll be honest. But it'll be all right once I get there. Finally finished the eight hour train ride and I'm in Warsaw in this old cabin that was really hot and sweaty at the start and really cold at the end, but we made it. There's a Polish guy in the cabin who kept trying to talk to me, although he spoke barely any English, but we shared a beer, so that was pretty fun. Been a long day, starting at the full six, 
Got the first train at 7.20, it's now quarter to 10. My changes was two minutes longer than 15 minutes long. Beyond that, just been on trains. But I have completed the uh, 15 hours of trains with two hours sleep and not eating all day challenge. So I think I'm gonna reward myself with an Uber home. First, I've just seen a McDonald's, so I'm gonna give myself some food finally. <laughs> It is Wednesday, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday afternoon. It's quarter to one. Finally got a good night's sleep, but I still stayed up quite late last night, so I had to chat to people. So now I'm here for a few days, and still need to work out what I'm doing for the rest of this trip. I had this good idea on the train yesterday, and then I realized it might not be possible. So I just keep putting off working out what my long-term plan is. But I do need to get outside of the EU at some point so I can save my EU days. But for now, I'm just gonna ignore that, as I always do and walk around the city and explore it. One good thing about Union Poland, so cheap everywhere. So much cheaper than loads of the other places I've been. So, it's not my first time in Poland, but my first time in Warsaw. But whenever I used to come here, it was with my ex. So it's weird not having a translator, but I always quite like Poland. So far, I quite like Warsaw. It's nice vibe, nice architecture, friendly people, so far at least. And it's fucking hot today. It is fucking hot. I am sweating my bollocks off right now. Whenever I used to come to Poland, I'd always get this hot dog, and I fucking loved it. The problem is I can't remember what the sauce was, but also the options in the Polish supermarket, so good. They've been the best options in the supermarkets I've had the whole trip. Better than Germany, better than France, better than Spain. There's so many like nice options for drinks. I love a range of drink options. I love drinking. I'm like an hour into just strolling around Warsaw and I really like it already. All right, start it off. Went to the Warsaw Uprising Museum. It's hard to describe. It could so easily be like a nine out of 10 museum, but I've never been in such a maze in my life. So I started off at the start of the museum, then I accidentally did the end of the museum, then I accidentally did the bit before the end, then I did the second bit, and then I, did, I think I missed one bit out. I literally couldn't work out the route in the museum. It was so confusing. <laughs> because of that, I feel like I just left early. I don't think I learned anything in there. Anyway, time to carry on the day. I'm wandering around and checking out the sites. And I see a big park and I want to go to it. But well, England's on later. And I really want to watch England lose in the semi-finals. That guy's fucked. Very slow morning today. Past two already. I showed in bed for ages. Then I wanted to do my washing, but I don't have any slotty. And I tried to get some slotty, and it was a pain, so I gave up. Instead, I just went to the shop, and now I'm looking at a lovely view. Still don't know where I'm going tomorrow. Keep debating about going up through the Baltics, but then I've just realized I can't get trains through the Baltics. So I'm gonna have to get buses. What's the point of my interrail pass if I'm not using my trains? I could do the Baltics another time. It just would be quite nice to um, get all the way up to Helsinki and put down. Hey ho. At least I have a few hours now to work out what the fuck I'm doing tomorrow. Still really fucking hot here, like 36 degrees or something. Right, well, I just checked. And buses from Warsaw to Vilnius are over 40 pounds. Buses from Warsaw to Riga are 75 pounds. Fuck that. I'm not going to the Baltics. I guess time to uh, come up with a new plan. <laughs> There's also the England game on Sunday, so I need to schedule to make sure I can watch that. Half four now, literally did nothing today. Now heading back into the center. And I still don't know what I want to do. I might stay here for another three nights and have a real relaxing time, but then I feel like I'm wasting my trip doing six dates in Warsaw. Feels like a waste when I have my interrail pass and there's so many other cities I could go to. At the same time, why does it fucking matter? If I want to just chill here for six days and rest, why do I feel like I can't do that? It's nice and cheap here. Everyone's friendly, it's safe. It's beautiful, there's lots to do. Why not? Friday, 
nearly 3 p.m. already. I just sat down, had brunch, and sat there for ages. Because I decided I'm not leaving Warsaw today, actually. I booked another three nights in Airbnb, so I can actually have some personal space, finally. So we're gonna head there now and check into this Airbnb. So, the night before, I came back to my room. Eight guys in the room, 35 degrees, no aircon. Honestly, walking through that door was like, <laughs> I could not breathe. Not 20 minutes after that, I booked an Airbnb and it ended up being the best decision I could have made. I didn't realize how much I really needed that alone time. Anyway, that's to say, over the next few days, there's not really much vlogging. I was just hanging out in the city, relaxing and not doing much. I am so hot and sweaty and tired. Yay. I finally got to the Airbnb and I'm exhausted. I'm so sweaty. But here it is. It's nearly 8 p.m. I feel like I've just been relaxing a lot recently. I've not been doing too much. I've just been kind of just chilling out, just completely slowing everything down, giving myself my own space, really not doing much. I'll get back to on the road next week, but for now, I can enjoy a nice long weekend in Warsaw. I think the next few days will be similar to the last few days where, where there really isn't much going on and there really isn't much to film either. We split the G boys, we split the G! First time, first time. Right, it's Saturday. It's 4 p.m. already and all I've done is just get to the shops this morning and then sleep here. I think this is gonna be the most boring vlog. I'm basically taking a holiday during my trip, I'd say. Catching up on a lot of sleep. But I'm really enjoying Warsaw. Finishing off the, um, the third vlog as well now. I think tonight I'll be going out, going to a silent disco. Should be good fun. Hopefully I'll get some footage because so far I think this vlog's gonna have no footage in it. It's Sunday, but actually Monday, because it's past 1am already. I haven't even spoke to the camera today. It's all the game, chilled out. There's really not much to say at the moment. I sat by the river for ages this evening. Just had this incredible moment when I realized everything I've done, where I was, I was just sat there by myself at the river in Warsaw. Got the train there. I'd done all this other shit in between for the last month. It's pretty crazy that that's the life I'm leading at the moment. But man, I needed this slow recovery time. I think I'm now at that point where I think the rest of my trip will be much more tame and I'll just be resting. We'll see what comes up next. Tomorrow's booked, but not much after that is still booked. There's ideas of what the rough plan will be, but there's nothing solid yet still. There's a lot to work out, but I just know I want a lot of it to just be much more like this. Right, Monday morning. We're leaving Warsaw today finally after six days, going to Krakow. Not very far, not a big journey, but still a journey after six days of chilling here. Just packing up for the Airbnb. It's been such a good decision to stay in this Airbnb to be honest. But now yeah, back to hostels in Krakow and we'll see then where we go next. I feel like at this point I'm pretty burnt out of going to new cities. I've done it enough now in the last month, I'm pretty burnt out. But I'm not burnt out of just being in a nice different city, you know? Like here, being able to just sit by the river, being able to relax. So I think we're gonna take it much slower in future and be able to just chill in the cities a bit more and get some more chores done. Got to Krakow, still boiling hot, like 30 plus degrees, sweating my bollocks off. Feels weird being back on the road actually. I'm heading to the hostel now. Still only like just after 2 pm, so there's still loads of the day left. So I think I might go back out, check out the city after this. Just checked in. Looks like it might be quite a fun time here. I did choose a party hostel, but they've got loads of stuff going on and it's really cheap. So I might stay here a little longer than I was originally planning. Time to go have a look around the city. This time, finally got 
a bottom bunk. I've had top bunks every single fucking place I've been so far, and I hate top bunks. So happy. Don't have to do that awkward dance up the stairs. <laughs> God, the whole time we've been in Poland, it's been so hot. All I do is jump from shade to shade, surviving. But anyway, finally for the first time in... I wonder if the YMCA song's gonna show up on this video. <laughs> There's a party boat going past, full of people, picked, singing YMCA. <laughs> anyway, after about a week and a half of not really knowing what I want to do, where I'm gonna go. I've got a plan for the next three weeks. And I don't have to keep stressing about <laughs> what I even want to do. So I've worked out what I want to do. It's weird being able to think ahead now more than two days. But I'm excited because we're gonna see the boys next week. MCA. MCA. Probably cut to more of Krakow. Of Krakow. 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 It is quite touristy though. And full of tourists who just want to get hammered. There's a big hole in my McFlurry. Weird. Think about it that much. Fuck me, this place feels so touristy. Just walked past loads of big old drunk English fellas and then got approached for a strip club. The ultimate signs of a tourist city. <laughs> Alright, walked through the centre of Krakow a couple times tonight to go to bars. I think I've been approached by at least 15 people to get into strip clubs. <laughs> I've never had it this bad. What the fuck is this place? This is fucking awful. I even tried the I Love Cock. They said they had cock. They provided it. They provided <laughs> cock. Oh, yeah. I thought that was an obvious go away. They wouldn't fucking go away. Fucking hell. I don't like Krakow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it. I don't like it here. Yeah, I was thinking of extending, but after the fucking minefield of trying to walk through the center of town, bam! Dodging titties out. Titty bar, you want titty bar? We got Latino, yeah. You know you want titty. <laughs> no, I don't want, mate. I don't want titty, mate. Oh, we got sexy titty. Do you want titty? We also got cocks, man. We got cocks. We got it all. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Get me out of here. I'm going to bed. Another day in this absolute sweat box. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday today. Last night. Made it quite clear to me, I hate this city. But, we're off to Auschwitz, so I'm getting the fuck out of this place for a little bit at least. So it should be fun. Maybe fun's not the right word to use. It should be good. Is good even a good word to use to go to Auschwitz? Interesting. I'll go for interesting. I'm really tired, as always. But man, last night was so bad. Worst night of the trip so far. Easily. Easily the worst night. Like, it wasn't even funny bad, it was just bad. I'll make my fry. Okay. In 1941, every chimney. Tourists were struggling. Jesus, I've been awful at updating this. It's already, um, what is it? Wednesday morning? Yeah, it's already Wednesday morning. Yeah, but yeah, yesterday we went to Auschwitz, then um, came back, did a bunch of admin. I've now planned my trip for the next like two to three weeks, which is crazy. I have an exact plan of where I'm gonna be almost every day. Then yeah, when I went around the city, I had a walk around the city for two hours whilst on the phone. Came back and just chatted to some people in the hostel till late at night. Just absolutely delightful. And then this morning, I've just been resting. I don't have a plan for today. I'm just gonna walk into the city and see where it takes me. Maybe I go to the big park. I shall see. <laughs> I decided to what looked like a big park. It's all green on Google Maps. There's fucking houses everywhere and there's nowhere to sit. I bought like a lunch and everything. Time to find plan B or something, I guess.
lovely afternoon walking around and it's about to rain at any moment it's basically been thunderstorming every afternoon in Poland whilst it's been the heat wave but yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight to be honest I just can't wait to get the fuck out of this city because I don't like this city but I'm also going to Vienna tomorrow and I hate that city too it's just a tough life going to all these cities I hate <laughs> cheers Enjoy. oh that's quite nice yeah. I thought it was vodka it is it's fluent vodka I'm completely asexual, mate. I have no genitalia. <laughs> Hello, guys. May is Sovin. Sovin May. So I wanted us to go up here. Ultimate tactics with the strippers. You film and they don't come up to you if you're filming. Oh, they don't want to be on camera. Found the strap. <laughs> the video technique. This is where I've always been approached a lot earlier. The reason they're all here is this. <laughs> the Bulldog Bar, which is the British bar, mate. When you come to Krakow, just fucking film everything <laughs> and no strip club will come up to you. It's the dream. <laughs> this breakfast is free. It's so good every morning. It's a good hostel, this place. Thursday morning, heading to Vienna now. Fucking hate Vienna, went there last year. It's shit, but it's just a stopover because we're going somewhere else on Friday. And at least I'm happy to say bye to Krakow. So walking over to the train station, it's like half one. And I'm feeling pretty good, actually. I'm feeling pretty energized today, finally. All right, now a lovely sweaty walk in this heat wave to the train station. So I was just waiting on the platform for an hour for my train to Vienna. Turns out it left during that point and I just didn't fucking see somehow. I was staring at the platform. Who the fuck knows how this works? Now I'm really sad. So work out another method. There's another method I can take which is just a pain in the arse because I have to change trains and get on some shitty trains to get to Vienna and get there much later than I wanted. Now I have to do that. It's my only option. Nah. I'm so confused how I didn't see it when I was stood on the platform. And how like, I, I was literally there. I was literally there. Now I just have to waste loads of time, waste loads of energy. Not gonna be able to do all the video editing I want to do. Take this shitty ass route. Fuck me. Man, fuck this shit. I'm actually so pissed off. It's so sad. Just wasting so much time hanging around here. I'm gonna have a really annoying journey now rather than a really nice journey that I planned. I literally planned it to be a nice journey. And I have a fucking pain in the arse journey to get to a city I hate. That has just made me so sad. I've been on such a high and I've missed that and it's just like really made me sad. I'm, there's no plug sockets in this fucking car. It's boiling hot. I have to be on here for two hours. I have to change for an hour. I have to be on like a local train for three hours that I can't even reserve a seat on. So I might be standing for three hours. Whereas I did have a train where I was like first class, booked to Vienna and have loads of space. I could have done so much like editing and stuff. I was literally on the fucking platform. How did I not see it? It was like, I was, I was there. I was fucking there. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm in this random Czech city. I think it's Czech. I don't know, I didn't get the border crossing thing for my phone. I could be in Poland. I could be anywhere. I don't know where I am. But I'm here for an hour. So at least I can get some food. And it'll be cheaper than it will be in Vienna. So that's my goal right now. There were some shops and restaurants, but I couldn't be asked with the restaurants. So I went to the shops, got myself some Pringles and a Sprite, and that will carry me through the day now. Sit in the sun, relax in this random ass town in the middle of nowhere. Probably still better than Vienna, this place, so can't complain. Back in Vienna. I was here last year for four days. But it's one of the shittiest cities in Europe. But it's just a layover. 10 p.m. to get across the city. It's like a 13 minute tram journey to get to this hostel where I have like eight hours, not even eight hours in the hostel. I have like six hours in the hostel because I need to get up early tomorrow. Oh, it's gonna be so long. Gonna be so bloody long. At least we made it to Vienna in the end after the absolute chaos of missing the train. <laughs> Cool, that's hostel. It's above an Ikea. It's all really modern. Check this out. Good morning. Friday morning, 7 a.m. I'm in Vienna. We're going to Zagreb today. Doing the exact same route we took down to uh, Ljubljana and the exact same route we took up from Ljubljana through Villac. So I'm seeing Villac for the third time in this trip. Maybe the last? I don't know. We're heading to the train station now. I'm very tired. I'm on like four or five hours of sleep. Gonna be a long ass day this journey. I just needed one tram to get to the train station. The tram works in one direction, not in the direction I need to get to the train station. So let's get a fucking Uber right now. Vienna is the city that keeps on shitting. It's so shit. My first 
third time here in the last like few weeks. Oh no, this train's gonna be so fucking full. Just made it to Zagreb, Croatia. First time here, going past what looks like a big palace. But I don't care about the palace. I'm going to McDonald's and then I'm gonna go to the hostel, which is meant to be like some nice homely little hostel on the outskirts, like three, four kilometers out. So it should be a nice vibe. <laughs> So, checked into the hostel early and had a nice chill time there. And then I went into the town, to the old town, a little walk around. Pretty nice. To be honest, at this point, I've walked around so many European old towns. I think I, I know what to expect from them. So then I've just got myself a Diet Coke and a Sprite, and I'm heading home at 20 past 11 on a Friday night. Welcome to your late 20s. I couldn't even be asked having a beer today, although I drank one every other day. <laughs> it's meant to be rain, lightning and thunderstorms all day tomorrow. So that might be interesting. I might not leave the hostel all day. Hello, it's nearly half 11 now on Saturday morning. I actually know the day of the week straight away. It was meant to be chucking it down with lightning. The weather, as you can see, doesn't look good. It was raining all last night and the lightning is meant to start at 2 p.m. So I have two and a half hours. But last night we checked out the center of the town. I don't need to see it again. And there's a bunch of like abandoned things I can go check out. So I might go a bit bold and bankrupt and just start checking out abandoned shit. Seems fun. So we're gonna go to the bakery, check out an abandoned World War II bunker and maybe go somewhere else. I don't know. Better grill shit this. Fuck. So at the end of this, should be a World War II bunker. I think used by the Nazis. Do we go left or do we go right? Just walking and then I realized I found it. Shit. So, this is an anti-aircraft bunker from World War II. Pretty cool. It's just a big room, nothing too special. I don't really know what I was expecting. It's just a big room in there. Uh, no, I don't think it shows up on camera. So I can really film it. I don't really know what else to do today. There's a museum actually. Maybe we should go to a museum. We've still got two hours left before the rain comes in. So it might be worth just going to the museum. Let's do it. Ah. So I thought slab squats was just a meme, but there's loads of men just like sat around squatting rather than sat on the bench. <laughs> I wanted to go to the Photography of War Museum, but it's permanently closed. Now I need to work out what to do, and now I'm in the centre. Finally remembered to go to shops on Saturday, because everywhere closes on Sundays. I like music, or rock music. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday. Oh, look at me. I just shaved, showered, doing a bit of care. Gonna have a lazy day. I don't think I'm even gonna go into town. Just sort out my stuff, do my laundry. I wanted to get a haircut, but there's no barbers open today. But I'll sort out all my other admin that I can, at least for the moment. Yeah, admin time. So yeah, probably going to be a very boring day for the vlog. Like in the library and stuff? Go through stuff. I've had some That's the time. Like spiritual woman. Most cars left. Oh there, yeah. That was today's activity. Go out for a hike. Now back to editing the rest of this vlog. Hopefully I can finish editing this vlog today. That's the dream. So a very, very lazy Sunday. Well, not lazy. Very boring Sunday. What a productive day. All I've done is edit today. All I've done is edit the last few weeks. And I've edited everything so far, apart from today. Which I'm going to edit not long after filming this video. It's been a good few weeks. Interesting, confusing, messy and good. <laughs> but tomorrow the boys come and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, good night. And we'll see if I get up to anything right now before I go to sleep. It's currently 20 past 10, and we might go out to town. We'll see. Thanks for watching, I guess. Cheers. <laughs>
when you do cheers with a Dutch slash German person. You have to look them in the eyes, otherwise you have seven years of bad sex. What has been your earliest recollection of happiness? That is a good question, right? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> or maybe it's even, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a car, I don't know. Um, but...